Hi, Todd Ward here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather for the next 10 days here across the Arpletex. And the weather that we've had over the last couple of days will continue for the better part of the next week as we look at the various cameras around the area. You can see all the sunshine. Temperature at 2 o'clock in Shreveport already up to 93 degrees. We do have a few smotty, small spotty showers over the southeastern edge of the Arcletex, but those will remain very, very isolated in nature. Still watching the upper level low over the Great Lakes near Chicago. The upper level ridge still sitting over Baja, but you can see it starting to expand and nudge northward into the plains. We also still have the uh, upper level weakness just to the northwest of the uh, Pacific Northwest. And uh, this system, as this ridge moves to the east, we will see this move to the south and west. And there's still some question as to the possibility as to where this system will go. If it tracks uh, further to the north, as most models are indicating, we will see very little as far as rain. But if it does take a more southerly course, uh, we will see the potential for a little bit more rain. I'll show you those possibilities uh, coming up here in a second. Meantime, Robin's story to Futurecast shows a mostly clear sky across the area during the night tonight as temperatures will settle into the 60s and low 70s. Tomorrow, I expect plenty of sunshine. I don't expect to see much as far as any rain. And really, we'll be hard-pressed to see much as far as clouds as well. Uh, tomorrow night is looking mostly clear. And Friday, we will close the work week with that mix of clouds and lots of sunshine temperatures both tomorrow and Friday likely will return to the low to middle 90s over most of the area. Uh, long term, let's show you how the weather systems will move across the country here. And you can see the upper level ridge, which is going to strengthen right over the Arcletex here heading into the weekend. That is going to keep any rain at bay and also keep temperatures well above normal. In fact, we'll be closer to records than normal records for the rest of the week, uh, pretty close to 100 and we'll be in the mid 90s for the most part. Notice the upper level low, which is uh, centered over Nevada here, heading into the middle of the weekend. It does appear as if we will see this system. Most models do show it moving more towards the north. This model does take a good chunk of this energy further to the south, uh, giving a chance for some rain, especially over the northern sections of the Arplotex. Uh, we will see, uh, again, a second disturbance potentially bring us a chance for some rain next weekend. Now, as far as uh, rainfall potential, here's a look at the model blend, and the green numbers represent what we will most likely see. Okay, amounts uh, southern half the area, a uh, tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch, northern half the area, a quarter, maybe a half an inch. The red numbers indicate the heaviest of the models, and you can see there is some slight potential. We're talking uh, percentages less than 10% of those red numbers happening, but it is a slight possibility we could see amounts over an inch and a half over the northern edge of the area. But again, those chances of seeing amounts that high are looking rather uh, slim at this point. But something to keep an eye on as we go through the next week and a half. So tonight, expect a mostly clear sky. Temperatures will be mild as we'll see 70 tonight in Shreveport, 69 in Cachetta, 68 in Minden, and 66 degrees for the high temperature in Texarkana. Tomorrow, once again, we'll see plenty of sunshine. Nothing really too much as far as rain as highs will mainly be in the low to middle 90s, 95 in Shreveport, in Minden, uh, 94 in Marshall, 91 degrees for the high temperature in Texarkana. And your 10-day forecast shows that we'll see highs staying in the mid 90s into the beginning of next week, lows staying in the upper 60s to close to 70. As the ridge weakens somewhat, you can see that chance of rain heading into the end of the 10-day period as highs retreat to the low 90s and lows pretty much stay in the upper 60s. So all in all, hot and dry the theme as we go through this weekend. However, as we look ahead to next weekend, there is a chance that we could see the, uh, a little bit of uh, rain make its way back into the area.